Hey everybody, remember all that nice sunny weather that we were having? Well, we wasted a bunch of it being broke down. We're finally moving on with this pipeline project and the snow that Rhett wished for is coming down. But we gotta keep moving anyways. So uh, here's the plan right now. We've got to load some of these big reels of pipe. They are super heavy. We got the old boom truck here and uh, Lorenzo put a starter in it so we don't have to air it up and pull start it anymore. But apparently the generator that recharges the batteries must not be working because every darn time we have to jump start this thing. However, I've had the cables on there charging the battery while I was in getting a fried egg, some toast and hot cocoa. So hopefully this thing's ready to crank up and lift some pipe onto this trailer. Silver State Ranches, Eureka, Nevada. Do you miss your white freight liner? Okay, let's hook up these batteries first. Does this have a push button on it? Yeah, it'll start with the button as soon as we get the dang batteries hooked up. <laughs> Gotta hook up that to that and that to that. <clears throat> and then just throw the cables down. So I just put the cables on, let it get charged up, and then be done with those and go ahead and start it. Got a head wrench hand, anchor brand wrench, head wrench hand, Lorenzo doing the fun stuff here. I gotta hold the camera. Somebody's gotta hold the camera. So I would like to get my hands in the snow and get cold and get shocked by the battery. Uh -huh. But if I did that, no one would ever see it because nobody would be holding the camera. So it's important to have a good cameraman on a day like today. I'll tell you what. Get those nice and tight. So this is a 24 volt system on this old truck. And I hate electricity and I totally don't get it, but I've learned as much. And I'll tell you, if you're fooling around with a 24 volt system, make sure all your ends and connections are right and tight. Because if they're not, you get fireworks, melted battery terminals, and much disappointment. I'd rather get shocked than the disappointment of burning up the battery and not being able to get my work done. No, I've just been doing it with that stupid wrench, but you've about got it. Looks like some rats have taken up home in the freight liner. Okay, I'm gonna film and spray. You turn the key and press the black button. Ready? Go for it. <laughs> Disappointment. Try one more time. Dang it. Okay, I hook the cables back up. Try again. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how things have been going. Until next time. Yes, it has to be unhooked. When it's set up 24 volt, if you just hook those up, then bad news. That's the pain in the butt of it. And I tried to cheat. I got over here and only had the one set of jumper cables. Hooked those on the one battery. Never cheat. Do crap right. I'll go find another set of cables. We'll put a set of cables on each battery. Try to find something else useful to do while the snow piles up a bit more. Then we'll be back. Stay tuned.
Dante. Lorenzo said that looked a lot easier in time lapse than it really was. We should have set him in the center of the trailer to begin with. The operator couldn't see how far off to the side they were. Anyways, they're loaded. We're going to haul those over to the job site and get them unloaded. See what else we can get done today. Come on. This is the first one of these that's been over here in a while. Rhett, he's probably happy about this. Remember a few days ago when it was sunny and warm and he was in his shorts, he was saying that he loved snow. What you got over here, Rhett? He's kind of a dirty old snowman, but he is a snowman. There's the first snowman of winter, and it is January 2024. Is this the first snowman you've ever made in your whole entire life? Yeah, I made a good snowball, and we made a good one. Wow, that looks like fun. Are you glad it's snowing? Remember, yeah. remember a few days ago when it was sunny, you were wishing for it to snow? Look, there's Maggie, the little hound puppy. Don't you like it? Oh, yeah, that's a cute little hound puppy. Cute little hound puppy. I'll find Riley, see if he can come help me and Lorenzo. Rance, that water truck's filling. Check on it every once in a while. Do you know where to spray ether to start it? The air intake's right in front of the driver's door. Real easy. Psh, spray a pretty good little spray in there and then crank it up. You got one jug in the back. No? It should be a red jug. Ah, that, that's it. That's what you got. You might have to pour it into the yellow jug and then the yellow jug in. And shut the door, no, idle the dang thing. Well, we got we got about four gallons of gas to our name and you're idle in the truck. That is the only gas we have. You might want to save a, like a pipe to put in the generator in case we need it. You got snowmans all over the yard. Look, here's another little one over here. First snowman of the winter, and every bit of snow is getting turned into a snowman. Hey, Maggie Dog, you've never seen any snow in your life, have you? We had a famous hound dog named Charlie. He's been dead for a long time, but that puppy came out looking just like Charlie, so I'm going to have to probably keep the puppy around. Yeah, you're a cute little hound puppy, huh? water into that big tank right there. That's where we stopped yesterday. Fumbling around in the snow. Should be fun. Sure is a pretty snowstorm though. Okay, the job right now is to tie water from the new line into this existing storage tank. I scratched around a little bit a second ago here on the back hoop. I was able to find a pipe right here. That's the old one inch line that's getting replaced. Right here, I'm going to put a T in the new line and use just a little bit of this one inch line just right between here and the tank. Tee it in, boom. The tank's fed and we can go on down the line to everywhere else. 
else we're going. So I'm gonna go over here and start up this bulldozer and uh, come on, ripping in that pipe. I'm gonna try to bring it right on into this hole that I'm standing in so we can see it in there. Well, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, my only theory is that that pipe is really cold. I'm down to the last little bit, so there's no weight on that reel. But with that pipe being cold and stiff, I think it just didn't want to unroll off of there. So it just went ahead and pulled the whole reel up off the holder there. Kind of a disaster. Everything's going like that. And the weather, woo, getting even better. Back down to the ground. That's true. It kind of seems like stuff always goes like this. Cold, stiff pipes just being stubborn. Uh, luckily, head wrench hand, finger brain wrench, head wrench hand, Lorenzo showed up just in time. He always likes to do this type of the job. We're gonna have him chain up that reel of pipe and then try to set it back down in here where it's supposed to go. How did it get up there? Uh, it didn't unroll. It just pulled it up there. I think because the pipe's stiff and cold and there's not enough weight to pull it down in so it just pulled the whole thing up. Cameraman could get out there and give you a good view of it. Or you could be The warm heater's on in this back of us. Cameraman, get out there and give him a good view. Riley just got hired on his cameraman, but he's trying to cheat and do it from in the warm cab of this. See, I'm the operator. Right now, we need me to operate. Earlier today, I was cameraman. The pipe is too stiff and cold to unroll. So when my dad tried to take off driving, it, instead of unrolling, it just lifted it clear up on top of the blade. So they're trying to chain it back down, but it won't roll.
Okay, we got that mess all untangled, got all that pipe off the reel and strung out right through here. So we can lay it now. Should be pretty easy. All right, let me hear cameraman. Try to circle over and get back out to the main road to the main road. Yeah, we're gonna go from right where he's at, down right there, and then go right beside the tank, clear down over there.
We got, go ahead and just drop this down, it's fine. We got to go back there and figure out about tying in now. Because I missed the hole, couldn't turn. Mm -hmm. the ripper in the ground, you can't turn enough and I overshot that hole, so we're going to have to tie in closer over to the tank. But I think I saw where the water started boiling up. So what we've got here is we just ripped through that new line and we cut the old line so water is emptying out of this tank. That's why we've got a little bit of water here in our ditch. Riley's on the backhoe. He's going to try to find both pipes without further damage to either one. Then we can tee the new pipe into the tank and go on down the road. Okay, Lorenzo found the pipe. Nice work, nice work. All right, try to pull it, pull on it a little and see if you can pull out the end of it there. It's kinked right there. That might be good. That'll save a little water in this tank for the cows to drink till we get this all tied together. Yeah. All right, kink it back. Nice work. All right, give me a minute to find a piece of wire. We'll kink it and wire it. You know about kink it and wire it, don't you? All right, Lorenzo did good. He found the end of the pipe. He's got it kinked off. He's gonna wire it. What that's gonna do is let all the water in that tank not waste out while we get all squared away to tie the new water into it. Nice work, Lorenzo. Okay. Now, we need to very carefully dig down and find the new pipe where we're gonna tee in. And we have to dig on all sides of it. We're gonna have to have a little space around to be able to fuse in a valve and all that. Right about here. So, right some, somewhere right in here, we need to find that. So, uh, poke around with your, not your hand, poke around with your bar a little bit. That's how far down deep it is right there. You, you're able to touch the pipe? Right okay. All right. Okay. We're going to have Riley very carefully dig next to that pipe. Both sides. Renzo's gonna point out that new pipe, very carefully dig next to it and dig us a pretty good big hole. We're gonna dig on both sides and expose it a bunch so we can fuse in the valve and the T and everything we need. Just be going slow so you don't break the new pipe. Just keep track of that pipe and don't let him hit it. Dig right along next to it. Okay, we're getting a pretty nice hole around the pipe right here. That way we can get down in there with our fusing equipment and put in the T and the valve that we need. Micro operator hasn't cut any pipes he's not supposed to yet.
All right, like always, this is not a how-to video, but you can watch us do this. What that's doing is shaving the two ends down so they're dead flat with each other. Take that facer out, put it away. All right, close it up, give it a little test. See they fit nice and flat together. All right. How's our heat? Gonna be a minute, or we got it. Should be a minute. Yeah, it's gonna be a minute. We gotta we gotta get that thing up to like 500 degrees. So when it gets to 500 degrees, we'll put the heater in there. Get the two faces of that pipe hot 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 and then squeeze them together and it'll be welded together for time and all eternity put the heat in there hold it so it's touching flat on both pieces of pipe for about 45 seconds at least that's our formula if you know how to do this and you have a better idea go ahead and save it we get it to between 450, 500 degrees, hold it about 45 seconds, and then squish it together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Set for a few minutes and it's welded tight. We'll take that big coil, feed it over the top, and get going. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Riley's gonna jump on. Try going. Lorenzo's gonna handle the slack. I'm Anchor Brand Ranch cameraman. See how this goes. So, what we're watching for, what we're concerned about right now, is that raggedy contraption we had built on top. With that tangle mess we had this morning, we busted it. So, what we don't know is if this pipe's gonna feed okay just right over the top of the cab or if that's not gonna work so we're gonna give it a little test here if that works we're gonna try to go on and get those three reels of pipe in today which will be good to get a little bit of forward progress but if this doesn't work we're gonna have to take that contraption off the top haul it home do some welding and invention maybe build it different better something I'm kind of hoping that somehow, luckily, this just works and we can get these three reels put in the ground today. So far so good. The part we just fused is about to go in the hole. Lorenzo, help that help that junction through the hole just so it don't snag. What I'm talking about see right? There's a little hoo hoo where we just yeah feed it down. Oh yeah, down in the hole it goes. So far so good. Oh, Zach. 
it's slipping right over the top of the cab not really hurting a thing so maybe we're gonna get some pipe in the ground today after all Snowboarding? Okay, we're almost back on track in the pre-rip zone which is good, it goes a lot easier, less stuff tears up and gets messed up once we're going in that ditch that's already been opened up. Pay close attention and keep that dozer in the tracks of where we had ripped that. I see snow building all up underneath of there. I don't know if that's going to become a problem. Huh? People only want to watch about five minutes of the same thing, you know. <laughs> Try it. Don't break the window out of the dozer, though. All right, drive it very nicely. Anything else we need out of here, we shouldn't, we shouldn't. Okay, what you're about to see is not what we wanted to take place. Seriously, we're getting nowhere. This is not good. What happened? Huh? It was just going normal and I thought I got squashed and I looked back at it. And nothing really. It's completely unhooked, ain't it? Golly. Okay, you know what to do. Cut it off up about as high as you can reach there. Yeah, just get up there a few feet, cut it off. Dang it! So that box is broken completely loose. 
off from that river. It's gonna cost us another day. Gee. Have to cut that. Pull it all up out, load it so we can take it home. Yeah. ditch. What we've done twice now is like a piano hinge style deal where there's a huge pin down through a bunch of pieces of pipe. Uh, the first time we did it big, this time we did it even bigger. But it don't matter how big it is, the torque that ends up being on there rips out those pieces of pipe like it's nothing. So I've got a different idea to try take a whole day or a day and a half of work in the welding shop but I'm gonna try a different design this time I think so oh, it's frustrating to get nowhere in life Redo everything. Let's see if they get that dang shank loaded without smashing nothing up. They don't swing it over and smash out the front of the back hole.
Okay, obviously it's time to go back to the welding shop and regroup. Stay tuned to the next episode of Anchor Brand Ranch to see how or if we get all this junk solved and get back to work. Thanks for watching.